what's up guys uh, so today we are going to talk about something that is very very important especially these days when we are buying a lot of stuff online so if you buy online using your credit card or your debit card you must watch this video till the end and if this is your first time coming to this channel make sure you subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our future videos and don't forget to like this video so just before we get into the details i just want to tell you uh, why i decided to do this video so i have got a friend who lost his whole salary the moment uh, that it got deposited into his account only because he made a mistake to buy from a bogus online site all right okay so when you're buying online usually you use your credit card or your debit card so what you usually do is you enter your, your card number and then a message will come to your phone uh, with an OTP or a one-time PIN and then you'll be required as well to enter that OTP but there are some sites that do not require that PIN so after entering your credit card details or your debit card details onto the site of that online shop how can you be sure that your details will not be misused or your money will not be stolen from your account without you knowing because there are a lot of sites that do not uh, require two-step verification or the OTP codes. So the truth is there is really nothing you can do technically to protect your account uh, from things like that because you will have given someone that you don't even know your details. But however, you can be smart enough to do what I'm about to tell you. So if you want to do any online shopping or you just want to make some payments online, you should have at least two accounts. Okay? Why do you need those two accounts? So you reserve one account for things like your salary, uh, any deposits that are not that are not in line with on your online shopping, or maybe for your own saving. All right. And then the other account should be dedicated only for online payments or online shopping. Okay, how does that help? So what happens is that when your account details gets hacked, the money that would be in your account will not be large enough for you to suffer a very big loss. All right, because your account will only be dedicated to online payments. Meaning to say you can only deposit the money that you want to use when you're just about to make a payment or you want to make a purchase online. That way you'll be safe. You won't end up losing a lot of money. So this is it guys, you should always be vigilant and very smart uh, when you're doing anything, especially anything that is in line with the internet, that works with the internet, because there are a lot of hackers out there that are just waiting uh, to make you a victim. So be smart, we have to embrace technology, but at the same time, we have to be very smart, we have to be very vigilant, otherwise we we'll end up facing very large losses. Technology should work for us, not against us. All right, so don't forget to like this video and also subscribe if this is your first time coming to this channel and also hit the notification bell so that you get notifications the moment that we post another amazing video. So from Chiwa Tech, bye for now and see you on our next video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.